What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about why some narcissists will tr absolutely try to ruin your new relationship, your new friendship, your new job, all the other good stuff. Stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. Thank you. Sometimes a narcissist or a toxic person will try to ruin your new relationship. And of course, if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So sometimes, even if that narcissist or toxic person has moved on to someone else, even if they have a family with someone else, they don't want you to move on and be happy. If you try to move on, they will try to make your life hard as hell. They will mess up your schedule with the kids. They will try to ruin your day by trying to be mean to you and inconvenience you in any way. Like if you have a date night plan with your new boo or your new person or whatever, they will try to throw a monkey wrench in that plan. And this is all even if they have someone else. They could be married to someone else and still be doing this to you. Some narcissistic people want to inconvenience your life so much with your new person that your new person just decides to leave. Hey, look, I can't deal with this anymore. Your ex is crazy. Good, good luck to you. Toxic people do not want to see you happy, even if it's not with them. That line is a lie if it comes out of a narcissistic person's mouth. They think you still belong to them. Hope this helps. So you see me say this before. You see me, you, you, I've said this type of stuff before, y'all, that narcissistic people do not want to see you happy with anybody else. I don't, y'all, I don't care if they say that directly to your face. I want to see you happy. <laughs> Even if it's not with me, <laughs> I want to see you happy. Even if it's not with me, you deserve the best. If <laughs> I don't care if they say that directly to your face. I don't care if they're snot rolling out their nose, they farting, bubbling, everything spitting everywhere. Can I, you know, throwing up, whatever it is. They got tummy ache. Uh, they t they got a t their, their little stomach hurts and stuff like that. I don't care how they feel, how what they say, y'all, or how they're behaving in front of you. Real narcissistic people do not want to see you happy with anybody else. And that's just point blank period. They just don't want to see you happy with anybody else. And even if they even if they moved on, they will try to ruin your new relationship. That's why I think so many people are just like, I want I want them to discard me. How do I make the narcissist discard me? How do I make my toxic partner leave me alone? How do I break up with them safely? How do I do this now? It doesn't really matter. Because if that narcissist is not done with you, they're going to try to ruin your new relationship. You see so many stories. I just watched this one story. What's this, uh, this one good? What's this one dude that just got convicted? Um, Zachary something. Uh, Zach, Zachary. I forgot this dude's name. I just watched a court case. Um, he, he literally just got convicted. Uh, is it Zachary? No, no, no. He, he literally just got convicted of uh, unaliving his ex girlfriends or ex husbands, ex wives, like new boyfriend literally ruined her new relationship was stalking her doing all kinds of stuff you ain't doing all kinds of stuff to stalk her and all of a sudden he unalived her new boyfriend because he didn't, he didn't want to see her happy you know he did not want to see her happy at all they, 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 they don't want to see you happy with anybody else so they will try to ruin your relationship y'all his name is zachariah anderson there, there it goes zachariah anderson literally stalked his ex-wife uh ex-girlfriend ex-wife whatever did all this stuff right and then unalive, he just got convicted of unaliving his ex-girlfriends, the mother of his children's uh, new boyfriend. He hid the body. Nobody can find the body or whatever. He just got convicted of life, life sentence though. They will try to ruin your new relationship. They will try to take you up out of here. I don't care. Look, and this is the crazy thing about it. Even, 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 not odd, even <laughs> if they have somebody else, that does not mean that they will leave you alone, y'all. They can be some, they can have a whole nother family. They can be toting around a baby by somebody else they can be pregnant by somebody else they can you know have a baby with be the, their, their person can be pregnant by them they can be married moved across the country whatever and they will still try to ruin your stuff because they they still claim this level of ownership on you and like i said in the very beginning of the video it doesn't you now it doesn't have to be an intimate partnership an intimate relationship it, this could be your parent this could be your friends not let, not wanting you to make new friends by spreading rumors about you, by launching a smear campaign on you. This could be your, like I said, your friend. This could be your ex, your your toxic job, your toxic your, your toxic ex employee, employer or whatever could try to ruin your new your new job. They give you a bad, like they, they they refuse to give you a good reference to help you get a new job because you because you discarded the job. You see what I'm saying? 
because you quit the job, because you discarded the job, because you got tired of the toxic work environment and you discarded them. They become, become obsessed with you and did you try to ruin your reputation to, to prevent you from moving on to a new job. So it's not just intimate partnerships. They will try to ruin your new whatever. Because and the reason, because that reason, one of the reasons behind it is literally shame, y'all. Like I, I know, I keep circling back to shame, but it's so real. Shame is so true. Shame, shame is such a big thing in narcissist lives, y'all. It, it just is. I wish I could. I wish I could make it easier. I wish I could describe it in a better way. But shame is shame. It just is. And that's how it works, y'all. So I want a lot of people to understand. Like once the shame, I call it. Do you hear me? I call it the shame monster. Because I call it the shame monster because. That's monstrous. Is a damn near. Oh, I don't even want to use this word. <laughs> it's a damn near demon. It's damn near demonic. But it's not a. De it's not demonic. But it is like a demon. <laughs> that's the part. That's the. That's the easiest parallel. The easiest descriptive word. A synonym back and fire. But yeah, they they will try to ruin your new stuff, y'all. I'm just telling you, they will do that type of stuff. They will try to sabotage your new relationship, your new job, your new friendships, your new uh, your new school, your new hobby. Yeah, I'm just telling you, these a lot, a lot of narcissistic people are obsessed with you and they, they don't want to see you happy. They will try to ruin your whole new stuff because they feel like a lot of times they feel shame, especially if they if you move on and somehow, some way, shape or form, they feel like you upgraded. Their insecurities will bubble to the surface and they'll go. Like, some of them will go crazy on you if they think you're actually happy with somebody else. Or, you know, if they typically narcissistic people are going to think they're superior to your new partner or your new job or whatever. But if they think you're happy with somebody else, oh, or that, that person might be taller, uh, more fit, more money, more education, whatever the dynamic is, that's going to make that could drive them crazy. You know, they be cheating. They, gonna, they, can, they can stalk your new partner. Some of them will stalk your new partner. Like this guy, the guy I just told you about, look up Zachariah Anderson. He stalked his. He was stalking his his ex girlfriend, ex wife. He was literally stalking his ex's partner. Like went into his car, got his address, followed him home, followed him around, put a tracker in. I think he put a tracker in his car. Like yeah, some of them will stalk your new partners because they're obsessed with you. They want to. They want. They don't want to see you. Even if they have somebody else, they don't want to see you happy with anybody. They don't want to see you happy. You see what I'm saying? A lot of them will do this. That's why I tell people. All the time, y'all, you be careful when like, you getting out of the relationship, leaving these relationships is sometimes the most dangerous time because they don't want to see you happy with anybody else. And I, I feel like that blows people's minds. I don't want I, I did this. I did that. Uh, they don't want to see you happy with anybody else. y'all. So they will try to ruin whatever new that you have going on. They will try to take you out of here. They don't want to see you happy. And if I don't want to see you happy, why would I just celebrate you? Why would I do something to, to make it make your life easier? Think about it from the perspective. Like sometimes you have to, when you deal with narcissists, you have to think, 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 think outside their perspective of them. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to use it to go for a different viewpoint and whatnot. And I'm a self aware narcissist, the, uh, but that's the way it goes. Though they will try to ruin your whole entire new relationship, new partnership, new whatever, because they are jealous, they are insecure, they think they own you. There's so many things behind this, y'all. Seriously, seriousness. But I just, I just feel like you got to understand that. Just if they tell you that. I want to see you happy with someone else. Sometimes that's just a way for you to think that they love you so much that they're willing to release you into the wild. You may y'all see the movies. Um, they, they they want they want to put into your head that they love you so damn much that they were willing to let you go for like free willy. We love free willy so much that we're gonna help him escape. You know, <laughs> after he held Willie captive for his whole life, now you want to help him escape the, the, your own captivity. You know. The captivity, captivity, captivity of other people, y'all. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet to the point today. If you haven't already, go on Amazon, grab you a self love journal on Amazon, and if you're in the Orlando, Florida area on um, May 20th, we're having our first uh, next in person May 20th big workshop. May 20th in person, Orlando, Florida. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge, y'all. Link is in the description of every video I post, y'all. Like and subscribe for more. Mental Illness is out. Peace.